that carry the electron from one point to another. What I'm doing right now is writing my word of the day. I've been doing this for 4 months already and it helped me widen my vocabulary even more. One word a day won't hurt you and there are so many sites and apps that you can use to find an unfamiliar word. I usually utilize dictionary.com, Merriam, and this app called Orphic. Imagine being able to recite a lot of synonyms instead of using the word moreover 14 times in an essay. Yeah. After writing my word of the day, I input it in an app called Flashcard.io. You can also do this, I think, on Quizlet or Tag Study. I don't know if they're free, but Flashcard.io is, and I'm broke, so this app suits me well. This is effective for me, owing that I remember the words through an exam-type format instead of reciting my list of words monotonously every day. I'll stop talking now. You're probably gonna miss. Just take a shot. Look, oh, someone else is shooting. It's your chance. I forgot it. I'm watching the Judy Arias case, which is something that have been it has been baffling me for for weeks already. It's just gruesome. It's baffling, really mind blowing, and tragic. I know, I know. I'm here now in YouTube instead of studying. I know. Hello, so I just finished watching some documentaries about murder mysteries instead of studying and I think it's a really good break, great break. I was about to say good and but in my mind I'm gonna say great anyway. <laughs> I think that's a really great break after this jarring um, class I had which is organic chemistry. It's really hard. Organic chemistry is really hard. I don't know how some people you know, claim that it's their favorite subject. Or maybe I just don't have enough brain cells for it. The concepts are, are not only 
hard to understand but at the same time you have to put them all together in order to completely comprehend complex mechanisms <sighs> anyway well i thought annika you know brought out the worst in me boy i was wrong organic chemistry <laughs> brought the worst in me anyway <laughs> So silver chloride, it will gain one electron. So to give a silver solid plus a chloride ion. Then hydrogen, half, one half one. So time check, it's currently 7.27pm, um, it's quite late because I just finished my last class um, at like 6pm and I think it's going to be a long night because tomorrow we have a recitation for organic chemistry and I still need to process a lot of the concepts that we have discussed. I'm low, so it's currently 11 p.m. and I'm just here cont contemplating, reflecting about things in life. Well, I keep on questioning myself if I really want to be a chemist or if I just want to be a chemical engineer. But then that predicament just circles back around the actuality that I chose to be in this double degree program <laughs> but chemistry is just really hard it's difficult and sometimes it's, it's, it is exhausting well not sometimes it's always exhausting but you know I guess we all need a little rain and hopefully tomorrow will be better maybe I'm just too tired today that my brain cannot absorb anything anymore. Maybe I'll, th I'll take a 15 minute break after recording this scrambled thoughts of mine. But well, so I guess that's just me wanting to tell you that you really have to be careful about um, the college course that you take because when you are too far or dip in it already, there's no turning back, you have to face whatever choice you made. Of course, you can still shift, but not everyone has the resources or the capability to just shift to another course just because they had a change of heart. So if you're one of the people, you know, who can just change course easily, maybe because of your parents or maybe because of financial resources then you really have to think it through and make sure that it's something that you enjoy because if it is something that you know that really just bugs you or if it is something that you don't like doing then you'd be burned out easily really easily so find something that you love and make sure that your family is capable of enrolling you to that course financially. Make sure that you are emotionally and mentally prepared for it as well. And I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying, but hopefully everything will be good for you. Tonight, it's not good for me, but tomorrow is another day despite of how cliche it is. So good night.